Let's look at how an administrator can set up a business policy rule to optimize the SD-WAN network for voice. You are looking at Develop Cloud Orchestrator. We are working with Branch 2 and as you can see, the administrator can set up multiple business policy rules and we'll look at how a voice or business collaboration rule can be set up. The rule matches traffic based on the deep packet inspection engine on the Velo Cloud Edge. Further, the action is set to use a high priority for that traffic and to use dynamic multipath optimization. Link steering is set to use the private wired or MPLS link as the preferred transport group. This tells the Velo Cloud Edge to use the MPLS link as the preferred link for voice, but either steer the voice traffic to a different link or if all the links have packet lost to perform error correction to remediate the link. So let's see this in action. Looking at branch 2, there is no packet loss on the links and I will initiate a call from the branch. Start monitoring the traffic in real time at the branch. As you can see, voice traffic is using the preferred MPLS link as defined in the business policy. So let's introduce some packet loss. I'm introducing about 3% packet loss both in the uplink and downlink directions. As you can see, the Velo Cloud Edge detects this packet loss instantaneously and moves the voice traffic over to another link both in the upstream and downstream directions. Next, let's introduce packet loss on both the links. And now, the Velo Cloud Edge uses error correction on both the links to remediate the link for high priority voice traffic. Let's go back to the Velo Cloud Edge on the orchestrator and add a new business policy rule for web traffic that can go over the public internet link but can fail over to MPLS in case internet is unavailable. I would define the application as web traffic. The traffic is low priority since it's recreational and we want it to prefer the public wired internet link as long as it's available. Obviously, when the internet link is not available, we want it to fail over to MPLS. I'll now push the changes to the Velo Cloud Edge. Now that our business policy in place, let's run some web traffic to see the new rule in action. Let's start monitoring the edge before we start passing traffic. Let's go ahead and put the edge in live monitoring mode so that we can see the traffic being carried by the edge. So as you can see, currently there's not much traffic going across the edge. Let's go ahead and initiate some traffic. As you can see, most of the traffic is going across the Comcast cable link at this point because of our business policy. Now let's see what happens when the Comcast link goes down. So I'm going back to my simulator and taking the link down. Look, let's look at what happens to our traffic. As you can see, the edge immediately detects that the Com Comcast cable link is down and it moves the recreational web traffic over to the MPLS link. The third use case is a business policy rule to protect business critical SaaS application like Box. Let's add a new business policy and select Box as the application of Box is a high priority application and we want to use link steering for it. For example, we want to use the Comcast cable link as the preferred link to carry the Box.com SaaS traffic but if there is packet loss jitter or latency or if the link fails we want the application to fail over onto mpls so let's go ahead and add this business policy rule and save the changes now let's monitor the edge and initiate some sas traffic i'm putting the edge in live mode and you can also see that there is no packet loss on the network Here, I'm initiating some 
SAS traffic. And going back to the orchestrator, you can see that the edge is using the internet link to carry the SAS traffic. Now, if I introduce some packet loss on the internet link and wait for the packet loss to show up on the network, the link now has packet loss and the VeloCloud Edge detects this packet loss on the internet link and as defined in the business policy framework, it starts using the private MPLS link to carry the SaaS traffic. The VeloCloud Edge can not only steer across different network conditions, it can also perform link remediation across a single link. So let me run this scenario where the site only has a single link and that link has about 2% packet loss. You would notice the VeloCloud orchestrator detects that the MPLS link is down and the Comcast cable link has packet loss on it. As you can see, the site has lost one of the links and the only remaining link has about 2% packet loss. However, the VeloCloud Edge is able to remediate that packet loss and maintain the application throughput and protect the SaaS application on that single link. Now let's look at how an administrator can troubleshoot slow browsing. One of the very first questions to ask is whether the slowness is restricted to one or a few web pages or common across web browsing. If all web browsing is affected, the admin can start by looking at the real-time link conditions at the branch. You can check the packet loss, jitter, and latency on all connected links on the monitor page. Additionally, you can check the connectivity status both to VPN destinations like data centers as well as to the cloud via the gateway. The VeloCloud QoE score also gives you a historical indication of how well the links are behaving. The transport tab shows you the packet loss, jitter, latency, bandwidth, as well as the throughput over time. You can also monitor the sites in real time using the live monitoring. Application shows you the top applications. For a given application, you can look at what links are being used, what devices are accessing those applications, as well as what the top destinations are. Similarly, you can look at all the sources that are connected at the branch and see what kind of applications they are using. You can also look at the top destinations being accessed at a branch. On the other hand, when troubleshooting slowness issues for specific application flows, the admin has additional tools available on the VeloCloud Orchestrator. For example, the admin can list all the application flows currently on the VeloCloud Edge and verify whether a specific flow is going either through the VeloCloud Gateway or directly out to the internet. The VeloCloud Edge can talk to multiple VeloCloud devices simultaneously and the admin has the ability to look at the bandwidth, jitter, packet loss, and the latency on those individual overlays across the same link. The admin also has the option to use additional troubleshooting tools like ping tests, trace routes, as well as packet captures. Mm -hmm.